Millions of years ago, the world as we know it was completely different, filled with animals that you could only imagine. What are some of the strange animals that still exist today from this period of time? From the mammals who still lay eggs like a reptile to the hideous lampreys, here are 11 strangest prehistoric animals still on Earth. Number 11, the Nautilus. Many consider the Nautilus to be living fossils that still survive in our oceans, even after millions of years have gone by. This weird creature is almost like a squid-snail hybrid or something, but it's considered to be a mollusk of the cephalopod family. Fossil records indicate that this has been around for 500 million years and survived several mass extinctions. They can reach about 8 to 10 inches in diameter, and its shell is normally white or orange in color. The inside of this shell is quite beautiful and resembles a pearl-like color. What's also crazy about this prehistoric animal is that it can use something similar to jet propulsion to move on its own. It fills up chambers within its shell with gases and water which are expelled through a siphon. This thing also has a beak like a parrot that hunts crabs, fish, and dead sea animals. A true survivor. Number 10. Lampreys Lampreys are hideous, terrifying, blood-sucking prehistoric creatures that still survive on Earth. This thing feasts off the fluids inside fish and it won't stop until it's all over. Measuring in at 12 to 20 inches in length, it can weigh as much as 13 pounds, depending on if it's hungry or not. The slimy-looking creature has no jaw and its circular rounded cone-shaped teeth can latch onto its prey and suck like a vacuum cleaner. They normally just attack fish, but if they get their chance, they will certainly latch onto humans. Normally found in fresh water, they can lay as much as 100,000 eggs at a time, but will die shortly after. How long have lampreys been around for? About 350 million years. They are considered to be an invasive species in the Great Lakes and have no natural predators except for the Portuguese. Not only have they survived the apocalypse before, but they probably have a good chance to be stuck here on Earth for quite a while. Number 9. The Alligator Gar This strange prehistoric fish is considered to be a living fossil and has apparently been around since the early Cretaceous period. Gars are considered to be a primitive fish because they have many physiological qualities to those of their ancient ancestors hundreds of millions of years ago. Unlike most modern day fish out there, the alligator gar has the ability to breathe both underwater and on the ground with its gills making it quite unique. This is a quality that led to evolution when animals began leaving the water to search for food. This would lead to the development of reptiles and mammals eventually. It's believed that the alligator gar has been in freshwater lakes, swamps, and gulfs for the past 100 million years. They get their name for the resemblance of the American alligator. They don't actually have scales that you would expect to see from most fish, but they do indeed have diamond-shaped scales which are kind of made of bone-like materials. The alligator gar has quick snapping reflex while hunting and is quite the predator. This reflex that took millions of years to perfect has kind of worked against them, and fishermen have made good success catching this guy. This reflex that took millions of years to perfect has kind of worked against them, and fishermen don't have too much trouble catching them. Number 8. Crocodiles Crocodiles are basically the closest thing we have to dinosaurs walking around on Earth. This species of reptile has been around for 200 million years, evolving into the species that it is today. In fact, that's earlier than many species of dinosaurs whose bones are kept in a museum. The T-Rex only dates back to around 67 million years old to put that into perspective. Many biologists believe that since crocodiles were more aquatic when the apocalypse struck, they were able to survive the asteroid impact successfully. And if you take one good look at them, they should remind you of dinosaurs. What also links to them more closely to dinosaurs is the fact that they are also related to birds, which might sound strange, but is true if you look at their family history. Of course, these animals aren't dinosaurs because they have a completely different evolutionary history, but it would be like comparing an elephant to a mammoth. Nonetheless, crocodiles deserve a place on our list for being some of the strangest prehistoric animals on Earth. Number 7. Emperor Scorpion They sure had some mean-looking creatures back in this day, and we still do, but just not quite as many. Found in the deep rainforest of Africa is where you're going to find this prehistoric creepy crawler. It's been around for 350 million years and hasn't changed a whole lot since. When you put into perspective that the first humans are only about 100,000 years old, our existence on this planet is only a tiny speck compared to other creatures. Scientists have claimed to have traced their origins to the currently extinct water scorpions which existed around 400 million years ago. Sure sounds like you wouldn't want to be swimming around at this time. As time went by, some scorpions evolved to leave the water and chase their prey on land. 
These tend to consume tiny insects and other small invertebrates which are easy to catch. They use their claws to rip into enemies' flesh and they contain a powerful venom which can paralyze them. And check this out, they even glow in the dark. Number 6. Centipedes and Millipedes We could probably put a ton of bugs on this list, but ones that are worth noting are millipedes and centipedes. Existence of these creatures date back some 550 million years ago, and some would consider them to be the mother of all bugs. These crawled around Earth way before fish or plants, which would lead you to believe that they're just basically cannibalizing each other, which was true. Any creature that cannibalizes the meat of the same species, you would have to believe won't be too pretty. In fact, if you put two centipedes in the same closed container, one of their first instincts is going to be to try to eat each other, and it's not pretty. Eventually, when other animals began to develop, they'd eat those too. These things are just brutal predators and will try to hunt anything from bats, lizards, mice, or whatever it comes into contact with. Check some videos online for some brutal centipede attacks if you want to see the oldest bug do some work. There's also quite a bit of evidence to suggest that they grew to be about 6 feet long millions of years ago. Number 5. Platypus What do you call an animal that's covered in fur, lays eggs, has venom, is still considered a mammal, living in Australia, and nurses its young? Well, if you said platypus, you'd be correct, but we could have also accepted the enchina. They might look cute and cuddly at first glance, but once you understand that this thing has venom glands, you might start to back up. After detailed analysis, it shows that platypuses are the most distant mammal creature and actually has genetic similarities to both reptiles and birds. After detailed analysis, it shows that the platypus is our most distant mammal creature and actually has genetic similarities to both reptiles and birds. This has been an important factor to try to understand where mammals came from. Although they still lay eggs, they're still classified as a mammal, but they kind of seem like a mammal-reptile hybrid. Their pain-inducing stingers, located behind their feet, can create a venom with 19 chemicals which will induce bodily harm. We can go ahead and thank our reptilian ancestors for this strange creature. The babies of these animals are also quite strange, and they come out to be about the size of a jelly bean because the egg actually lacks nutrients. The oldest platypus fossil was found in Australia that dates back to 61 million years ago. Number 4. The Colacanth Another fossil out there swimming around in our oceans is the colacanth, and this one dates back to 400 million years ago. These are a part of a very rare animal family called the Sarcoporygii, similar to lungfish. Some even claim that humans even descended from this type of fish. Can you see the resemblance? This rare fish, or whatever it is, has not changed for the past 400 million years. They also have a strange defense mechanism. If you eat it, it will give you diarrhea and it emits excess mucus and waste products like urea, making it nearly inedible. Even fish won't even eat this fish. Maybe that's why it's managed to last on Earth so long. Number 3. Horseshoe Crabs These bizarre looking invertebrates are normally found around the shallow ocean waters of the western Pacific and eastern parts of North America, waiting to creep people out. Some claim that certain subspecies that live near Thailand contain tetrodotoxin, which is potentially lethal neurotoxin found in pufferfish. Although they might resemble crustaceans, they're actually more closely related to spiders. They've been on this earth for the past 450 million years, but their habitat is beginning to be disrupted by humans and fishermen, so who knows how long they'll be around for. Could humans bring an extinction to a creature that's been around for 450 million years? As of right now, they're listed as near threatened, but the population is steadily declining. Horseshoe crabs are often used in fertilizer and in fishing bait. Everything about this species screams prehistoric, and they don't seem like they belong in this era. Their book gills are found inside their carapaces, and the legs kind of look like they belong to a mutant spider. Fossils found in Germany in limestone of horseshoe crabs look awfully similar to what we got now. Number 2. Jellyfish Here's a prehistoric creature that's certainly not going anywhere anytime soon. Not really being a popular form of food and also enjoying the increased temperatures of our ocean, the jellyfish population is increasing. Many of you have probably came across a few while swimming through the oceans and it was enough for you to get out of the water. That's because these things are downright creepy and they can get pretty large. The Nomura's jellyfish can reach up to 6 feet in length and this species has been around for at least 500 million years. The lion's mane jellyfish have measured up to 8 feet long. They're also possibly the oldest organism on the planet. Depending on how deep they are or in what part of the world they're living in, they might look slightly different, but all are just downright creepy. The ones that sting carry a toxin known as nematocyst, which can induce pain and a rash. The toxins can attack the heart, the nervous system, and your skin cells. They don't possess a brain, bones, or a heart, making you wonder if they're even from this planet. Immortal jellyfish even have the ability to return to a younger state during starvation and technically live forever. 
Number one, sea sponges. You start to realize that the oldest organisms that are still on Earth are also some of the simplest as well. Despite popular belief, not all sponges live in a pineapple under the sea. They're commonly found in lakes and freshwater rivers as well. Sea sponges are indeed organisms, not plants, but they don't have a brain, eyes, heart, legs, ear, muscles, nerve, organs, etc. They kind of work as a filter and plankton in the nearby waters get soaked up and digested. 500 million years ago, sponges began to form in our oceans and they've been able to stick around for quite a while. This is possibly because no one wants to eat a sponge. 